What's up, fuckers? It was a great day to be a Pats fan. Now, I forgot to upload a video that I made after the Chiefs game was over. So, I figured I'd make a Chiefs video and Bears video all in one. So, we'll start off with the Chiefs, since obviously that game came first. All you who talk shit saying that we weren't going to beat the Chiefs, there's no way, no how, Mahomes is going to fuck us up all game long, and we are going to lose by a fucking shit ton. How'd that work out for you? How'd that work out? Oh! This stupid fucking cheap bullshit. I'll tell you. I knew we were going to win. I called it. First of all, it's not September. Second of all, it's not an arrowhead. Third. Oh, it's a bell check on the Pats. What do you expect? The first half was great. First half was priceless. They could not do shit. They could only get three field goals. And then the second half comes around, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? But they're dumbasses, just like they were in the playoffs years ago. And don't know how to work the clock properly. First of all, you know you can score just by throwing a 75-yard bomb because you have Tyreek Hill and Kareem Hunt. So why would you call two timeouts on the Patriots' drive? Was it two drives before? I believe it was, no, it was the drive before that. The drive before our last drive. So I second the last drive. You call two timeouts out of your three on that drive. Interesting. So then, of course, when you have the ball, you throw a 75-yard bomb. I think it was a Tyree kill. And you left Tom Brady and the Patriots well over two minutes. And all they have to do, you got one minute. They have three. They also have a two-minute warning. That's a total of five timeouts that can be used if needed. All they needed was those well over two minutes to drive down the field and kick a field goal to win the game. You don't need a touchdown. You don't need anything special. The win is a win, regardless. So all you got to do, drive down field, kick field goal, game over. Simple, right? Lies are driving down field. I'm seeing people go, oh, I don't think they're going to be able to do it. Oh, they're, 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 why aren't they going to get up so quick to do all this? Blah, 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 blah. So finally, they're at the goal line. They're, they're at that line. They're in that area. Purposely running the ball just to wind down the clock even more. Three seconds left. Time out. And you, you know what? We do what we do best. Win the game. Kick the field goal. Game is over. Well, it's fucking bullshit. They got so lucky. No. No, we're smarter. That's the thing. That's what a lot of people don't get. The Patriots are a very smart football team. Things may not always go the way that they should go, but, you know, what can you do? Stuff happens. It's really hard to guard someone like Kareem Hunt and Tyree Kill on a pass play because it's even a run play for Kareem Hunt, it's, it's hard. It's so fast. So is Tyree. It's fucking ridiculous. So, yes, Chiefs get their first ever loss this season. I'm happy about it. Fuck the Chiefs. They're nothing but hype every fucking year. That's so why I'm never worried about them. It's like the Steelers. I'm never worried about them because their coach makes poor decisions. And on top of that, look at all the fucking chaos in the locker room. It's not as chaotic as it was originally, but it's still pretty fucked up. Actually, I, I think at this point, actually, they're probably over it. They've got to be over it by now. I mean, James Connors is doing a hell of a job. Now, Bears! Ugh, watch out! It's the Bears with Khalil Mack. Ugh. They're gonna fuck you guys up in Chicago. Bro, uh, really? Really? Now, I love Khalil Mack. I, I kept saying this at work over the weekend. I'm like, you know, I love Khalil Mack, but I'm gonna have to keep telling him, hey, leave Tom Brady alone. You're gonna hurt anybody else. Leave Brady alone. Just leave him. Just, like, tap him. I do. I love Khalil Mack. I'm not going to lie. I wish he was a Patriot. 
I said when he got drafted, he was going to be something special, and no one wanted to listen. Now they're starting to see that. They've been seeing it the last few years. And I'm like, there you go. Told you. Dumbass. Dumbass. Nah, ain't nobody worried about the goddamn Bears. Trubisky's not even that great. Their offense isn't that nice. Now, of course, it came down to that Hail Mary. The one-yard line. We stopped them. I don't want to hear no, oh, that was look. Oh, that was look. No, bitch. Did he make the catch? Yeah, it was a nice fucking catch on a Hail Mary pass. I thought it was beautiful. However, you know, you know what's even more beautiful than that? The stop at the one-yard line. With no time left on the clock. That's more beautiful. So fuck everyone's team. Unless you're a Patriots fan, then you're beautiful, baby. You're beautiful. You're part of a wonderful fanhood. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm not going to talk too much shit. Almost where I got to be. But I will another day. I will another day. Buffalo! I'm coming for you. I say I'm coming for you because I'm actually going to be there. I'm going to be up in Buffalo. Up in the end zone. So if you're going to the Patriots-Bills game... Over in Buffalo, Monday Night Football, I'll be there. So, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you click that bell for the notifications. So every time I post up a video, you get the notification instantly. And you can watch when you get a chance. Like this video, share this video, and leave a comment down below. I may even address your comment in a video later on in another video. Peace.